All right, so uh, in this problem we introduced, or in this topic, we introduced the concept of half-life, uh, half-life decay. Uh, here, uh, they, they, they tell us that the rate at which a certain drug is eliminated by the body follows the first order of kinetics with a half-life of 75 minutes. Now, we haven't gotten to using integrated rate laws or anything like that yet. Uh, but we can solve this problem just by understanding the concept of half-life in general. So what is half-life? Well, half-life, represented here by T sub one-half, is just simply the amount of time it takes for half of, of initial concentration of something to be gone, whether it's through uh, the body's metabolism, um, eliminating it, or whether it's uh, some radioactive substance that's decaying, uh, undergoing decay. It's just the time that it takes for you to have half of what you had originally, okay, to start with. So here the half-life of this process is 75 minutes. So it'll take 75 minutes for half of our initial concentration um, to, to be gone or to be eliminated from the body. And so... Uh, the way we want to solve this is by just building a little table. Okay, so we'll go from zero to three half-lives. Okay, let's see if that gets us. So before our first half-life, before we even start the clock, so it's zero minutes, our drug concentration is 0 0.31. And the units of this are micrograms per milliliter. So I'll put the units here. Okay, 0 0.31. So half-life again is the time it takes for uh, a concentration to be halved. So at the first half-life, how much time has gone by? Well, the half-life is 75 minutes. So 75 minutes. So let's take 0.31 micrograms per milliliter and half it or divided by two, we would have a concentration of 0.155 at the first half-life. The second half-life, well, at the second half-life, an additional 75 minutes have gone by. So what's 75 on top of 75? It's 150. So at 150 minutes at that mark, we have reached our second half-life. And at the second half-life, half of this will be gone. So 0.155 divided by 2 is 0 0.0775. Well, let's do another one. Another half-life would be 75 plus uh, 150 is 225 minutes. So at... 225 minutes, we would have reached the third half-life. So the first half-life, this was half. Second half-life, that was cut in half. At the third half-life, this is cut in half. So 0 0.0775 divided by 2. 0 0.03875 micrograms per milliliter. That is the concentration at the third half-life. So 225 minutes later is at the third half-life, so the concentration would be this concentration. Round it to two significant digits, it would be 0 0.039 milligrams per microliter. You could also report that as scientific notation as well.